So yes, but I think that we should put um, Japan's imperialism in the context of Japan's experience, historical experience over the past 150 years and what it means for Japanese identity. And in the same moment, we need to understand what Japan's imperialism means in terms of contemporary Chinese identity. For Japan, its modern identity stretches from about the 1860s to today. Um, the big events from the Japan's, Japan's perspective um, really was modernization, westernization, um, being defeated by the United States, the atomic experiences, uh, the economic bubble and the bubble burst. These are really the identifying characteristics how Japan understands its modern identity and history. Its, its identity is not being built on China, but rather its experience uh, in World War II and, and being the, the victims of, of the first and second atomic bombs. Well, the Chinese experience, and, and Mao Zedong said this in his meetings with Tanaka Kakue, the, one of the prime ministers that visited um, China to normalize relations in the 1970s, he said, with, you don't need to apologize. Without you, we wouldn't be a modern China. And what he was referring to is that um, Japan has played a central role in the uh, defining of what modern China is, um, who they defeated to become a, a, a cohesive country. Um, they brought the current uh, Communist Party of China into power. And really, uh, it plays a much more central position in contemporary Chinese history than in the Japanese context. And thinking about it from this point of view, it's, it's quite interesting to think, yeah, this is why we have such a different view about where what the role of history in bilateral relations, but also national identity. And uh, this continues to be a, a challenge for both states because, um, and we could jump to Korea. Korea has a very similar view about its contemporary identity com compared to China, that without the Japanese annexation of the Korean Peninsula, without the Japanese imperial government quashing Korean identity, there would be no modern Korea.